In covering the who, what, where, why and how of your project, show that you have a clear vision, an understanding of the processes involved and the skills to carry them out, an understanding of the themes you want to explore and what they mean to you, and confidence in the value of your project. Don't assume that people understand your project. Write about it as if the person reading it has no idea about what you're doing, because they probably don't. Be clear and matter of fact, and avoid using complicated art speak if you can say it in plain English. Avoid sweeping generalizations or statements you can't back up. It's probably true, but don't say it without the data. At the same time, don't strip all of the colour out of your proposal. Being direct and concise is important, yes, but make sure you're still getting the essence of your project across. Remember, you have to sell your idea. Don't feel like you need to overstate your project's broader community benefit. Showing assessors that your project is important to you, your career and your community is the most important thing. You don't have to be everything to everyone. Show that the project is timely and appropriate for your career. Every stage of a career has different needs. So no shooting for international tours if you haven't played a gig yet, okay? Application sections have word limits, so try to fill them. Limits are set to give you an idea of the amount of detail assessors expect from that section. Covering a 1500 word section with, because I have a unique voice, probably won't cut it. Never say, I have a unique voice. In fact, avoid the word unique altogether. And don't forget to talk about the music. Make sure you include things like genre, project themes, ideas you're interested in exploring, and sounds you're using, stuff like that. Head to musicnsw.com for a stack of extra resources, including draft budgets, grant writing checklists, and support letter templates. Good luck.